Welcome back everybody. So this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on DJT Trump Media and Technology Group. So before we get started and I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this video. So please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get my daily trade ideas, swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups, definitely check out their link down below in the description for Patreon. And now let's get right into DJT which is up 15.59% and even after closing now it's up another 1.78%. Now DJT, let me clear some things guys. And it all depends how you actually trade here in this market. Things, they go up they get extremely overbought, they'll come down. And this is exactly what's happening and not to mention lots of negative catalyst around Trump. And that is why this thing is dumping. And even with this dump right here, it's still holding up pretty well. And when things get extremely overbought on a weekly time frame, things will come down and it's going to cool off. Even on my last video, what I said, looks like it's going down to this gap, $28, and we could see that in next few days. And then what happened? Immediately, yesterday, filling this gap at 28, getting down to, I mean, look at this uh, dump up right here, down to 22, 23, and then went back up. And now, today, we got a massive pump all the way up to 28 plus. Now, we all know that now, $28, that's gonna be a big resistance to watch. And we got rejection right here, and now trading above 25, holding 25 as a support into closing. So going into tomorrow's session and next few days, you need to watch this support right down here if that can hold right here at 25. Below that, you're going to see more selling, possibly down to this gap, 17.38. And you may not like this, but here's the thing, guys. When this thing was trading above 70, this is exactly what I said. Do not go and chase this stock anymore. If you're not here in this stock, don't chase it, wait for a pullback. And now I think this is actually a great opportunity, especially if you're going long and not buying something and uh, trying to flip it the next day. A lot of people think that, you know, I'm just going to buy it right here and I'll swing trade. No, DJT, the biggest catalyst is yet to come and that is 2024 election. So if you're selling out, I mean, I know, including myself, I took profit right here. Lots of people took profit, but I'm still long and holding my shares. Not many as I was, but I'm still holding a good position on DJT for that massive catalyst to play out going into that election 2024. So if you're selling out and panicking right now and you think that it's going down to 10 bucks or below, well, that is totally up to you but I would not sell this thing just because it's coming down. And this is not the only time this thing coming down and I'm actually making a video and talking about buying the dip many times. In last two years, we saw many spikes right here on DJT, huge, huge pump to the upside and people making tons of money. Now, if you're looking to short DJT, First of all, one thing I will say right here that look at the option and look at the spread before buying it because I looked at it when this thing was uh, trading at 70 and even today I looked at it, there is a massive spread in between ask and bid and you know if you can get filled in between or really close to uh, bid, then yes, you know, you might make some money but it's not worth it. You know, between ask and bid, there is a huge spread and options are expensive on DJT, I don't know. And that's probably because, you know, how this thing moves, one day down 40%, next day up 20%. So that is why option market actually kind of messed up on DJT. And I only sold, you know, uh, calls and puts before when I was holding a bunch of shares. Right now, I'm not selling anything, I'm not buying anything. I'm just holding my shares and not doing anything on DJT and waiting for that biggest catalyst that is 2020 for election. And we got a couple months left, guys. So a lot of people are panicking and selling out. I would say, you know, just have patience. If you're going long, this thing already showed you how much this thing can go up in just a matter of one or two days. Look at even today. It was up almost 20%. 
still up over 15%. Yes, things were overbought. Things will come down. We got unfinished business down here. This gap now fully closed at 28. We still have another gap. So yes, things can go down even more. That does not mean that this thing cannot spike back up to the upside. And we're not going to see, you know, 50, 60, 70 on DJT and possibly even higher, like I said, 100, 150, even 250. Imagine Trump going back in that office. This thing will be a rocket itself uh, by 2024 election. So, you know, things are not done. Do not count DJT out. Now, as far as technicals, guys, above 28, you're going to see more upside. So if this thing can hold 28 right here, you're going to see more upside all the way up to 37, 35, 43, and then above 46, that's going to be another breakout on DJT. Below 28, like I said, slowly but surely, this thing can come down just like it did right here. And I was calling it before that. Don't go and chase it. It might just come down and then you can get a better opportunity. And now you can see, even on my last video, I said it might be coming down here to close this gap at 28. And this is exactly what we got just after two days. And now it's down to almost 22 and then we got a big bounce. So DJT can come down even more, possibly down to this gap. You know, I hope I'm wrong and this thing spikes back up above 28. And if that happens, there is going to be more upside. And as soon as we get that breakout over 46, this thing is gone again. And you're going to see massive, massive pump to the upside. But for that, like I said, you have to wait and there has to be some good positive catalyst and then you're going to see big push to the upside on DJT. Until then, watch the resistance right here at 28 and the support at 25 and below 25, possibly this thing will come down and close this gap at 17.38. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on DJT.